Good morning and welcome to SI Live's AIM with Alex. I'm Alex Dalmary. It's Friday. I hope everyone is ready for the weekend. Here are today's top headlines. In coronavirus news, New York City has over 221,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, bringing Staten Island to 14,550 with a total of 895 confirmed fatalities. That number has remained unchanged since Monday. In addition, 180 deaths were deemed the probable category, and as of yesterday afternoon, the citywide death toll stood at 23,525. The shocking surge of gun violence comes as Staten Island has seen a 140% increase in shootings across the borough through July 26. In just six days, shots were fired inside a Mariner's Harbor deli at a packed Clifton barbecue on a Park Hill Avenue block in the early afternoon and on a residential West Brighton Street in the middle of the night, leaving three men dead and two others injured. No arrests have been made in any of the shootings and anyone with information about the incidents is asked to call the NYPD's Crime Stopper hotline. The public can also submit tips by visiting their website or on Twitter. In other news, the borough's annual 9-11 postcard memorial ceremony will be held virtually this year as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Each year, several hundreds of people gather at the postcard's memorial on the St. George Esplanade to honor the Staten Islanders who lost their lives in the September 11, 2001 attacks. However, this year, the coronavirus pandemic forced borough president Otto to rethink how to plan the annual ceremony. He said, we want these families and those Staten Islanders who have chosen to be at postcards year after year to realize they are known, seen, and loved, and the connection we all share will endure. And lastly, the search is on for a pet tortoise that went missing in the New Brighton area. Scott Higgins told the Advance and SILive.com that the watermelon-sized reptile pushed through the fence in his in-law's backyard on Franklin Avenue and made an escape. Hodor the tortoise has a special place in his family's heart and is even supposed to be Higgins' ring bearer at his wedding in June. If anyone has any information, Higgins can be reached at 718-619-0846. He is even offering a $200 reward. To find out more about all of these stories, visit SILive.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Everyone enjoy their weekend. I'm going to be off for the next few days, so the show will be back on Wednesday. But until then, stay safe and stay tuned for more updates.